Welcome my fellow Cerulians. Today I want to share my Virgin Atlantic experience flight from London Heathrow to Shanghai Pudong. With no delay I will get straight into my outbound meal. This was comprised of a Japanese cucumber salad as a starter, a spicy pork main dish with sticky rice and a chocolate caramel ganache. I started off with the main, the pork had a sweet and savoury taste which was okay and went well with the sticky rice which was not too soft. The vegetables were fine and my favourite was the Chinese mushrooms which were soft yet firm. The cucumber salad was fresh, crisp and extremely tasty. After one bite I decided to add it to my main to beef things up. The dessert was a ganache by Goo, this is pretty sweet stuff and very chocolatey so I ended up having two because the missus just couldn't deal. Even though I enjoyed every spoonful, I feel it's kind of lazy on Virgin's part to provide a very basic pud. Even if they couldn't put together their own dessert, they could have at least sourced a more interesting pud from a supplier. All in all, the meal was above average and gets three and a half stars. We flew Economy Delight, which was two steps up from their standard economy. To be honest, I felt like the legroom was satisfactory and should be the bare minimum standard on flights. You're provided with a pillow and blanket, which is pretty much standard on long haul flights. Wi-Fi was available, but of course at an extortionate rate. The onboard flight entertainment system came with a good catalogue of films, TV shows and music albums and as usual flight information. On our inbound flight we were provided a salad with pickled pumpkin, cherry tomatoes, baby spinach and beans. This salad was an absolute fail, way too vinegary and just overall left a foul taste. The main was a significant upgrade with another pork dish in a rich gravy sauce accompanied with sticky rice, sliced carrots and pok choy. The sauce was a little bit on the salty side but overall pretty decent and the vegetables were cooked perfectly. The dessert was a banana mousse which came with chocolate fudge sauce and chocolate waffle crumble. This was a very average dessert, again not very impressed because it would appear Virgin Atlantic are quite lazy with their dessert offerings. Overall I would give this meal 3 stars. It has to be said the customer service on board Virgin Atlantic is extremely good, the team are very attentive, courteous and overall friendly. A good send off from Shanghai which was a phenomenal place where I created some great memories, I will definitely be back here soon.